sniper. Two hostiles removed. Enemy sniper bursting. Hmm. Is that auto mantle? Sorry, that one dude. Yeah, yeah. All that movement for what? All that movement for what, bro? Nope. Enjoy. Thank you for the gift of sub, bro. That was a collat, I would have screamed. Quad head, baby. Bro, same game. The organ is gone right there. Like, I'm just. Let's go, baby. I don't care, babe. Bomb acquired. Exemplary work, MI6. It's just you and me now. Let's show them what we're made of. Oh, oh, bomb is armed. <laughs> Enemies down to their last man. Oh, yeah, he's disgusting. Hey, Rhyme, you might not sweating your fucking dick off. You might not while using your wall hack, you me, stupid bro, fuck. fuck You're an idiot, dude. You literally, you literally lined me up through that wall the last kill. Oh, he's been lining everyone up for that shit. You are such a hacker. You're so fucking stupid. No, that was we my fucking kill. Keep pushing. Don't let them regroup. That was my fucking kill. This guy is way better than that. Oh my gosh. Get him, buried. Oh, look, I was right there. Oh my gosh. Continue on mission. He is way better than everyone in this lobby. Have you never heard of him? He's a YouTuber. This Rhymes guy is? Rims, yeah. He's a YouTuber. Rims? He's, got, like, uh, he's got over 100k subs. Is that why he has 100k on his thing? <laughs> yeah, I guess that's... Switching yeah, sides. Makes sense. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god! No, don't, 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 don't. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. It's a It's a It's a It's It's the, the YouTuber. It's about to be a hard scope. It's about to be a no, no, no. It's the YouTuber. No. 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 The YouTuber lives. Bro, he's one of the best. I can hear myself twice now. No way. 
Yeah. He's the, I'm telling you, he's one of the best snipers in the game. <gasps> this guy's legit. To your right, Ron. To your right, Ron. Oh my. I told you. Yo. Yo. <laughs> oh, what? This guy's built different. No shot, right? <laughs> <laughs> One in A. One in We're gonna hang our hat on that. Hat on that? <laughs> shit on. Shit on. Juan. Juan. Spook, you're three and shit five. Three and five. Tango down. Hey bro, hey bro, I just went against Goku again. Whoa, they just Whoa. Yo, what is good everybody? It's your boy Justin or Rhymes, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Most importantly, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys smash that like button and drop us up as always. I'm gonna be providing you guys with the max damage LW3 Tundra class setup in Cold War, and I'll be giving you guys the one for Warzone if you guys are curious, uh, because I have been playing Warzone and I have a perfect Tundra setup for that. But this one's gonna be specifically for Cold War. There's actually difference in attachments for the LW3 Tundra, Serpent Wrap, and Airborne, but I'm gonna be showing you guys the class setup and what I use on Cold War multiplayer every single day. So right here, you guys can see that I have two Tundras on my class, Paranoia, Tactical Mask, and Gun Ho. Um, I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask me how I have two Tundras. If you guys do want a video on how to unlock, um, let me know down in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to make a video on how to do the glitch to get double tundras double pellingtons uh double zrgs whatever you guys want double m82s uh i know how to do it. so if you guys want that video glitch let me know comment down below but this is what i use for just the regular class setup now the attachments that i use is stabilizer as always if you don't want to use stabilizer you could always put tiger team spotlight i've been switching between those two um the max damage you always want to have tiger team no matter what i know hammer forge has three percent fire rate but tiger team will always be the best one and the fire rate is really not that big of a deal um i will always prefer damage over the fire rate fire rate base speed is good and the fire rate base speed on the tundra is good so adding the 21 percent is actually amazing on top of the 20 percent um you have seven round magazine just because you just want to have as many bullets as you can still maintaining the quick scoping speed now here's where it's really different um i used to use airborne elastic and you think with 12 percent ads time um you can you know drop shot basically with it uh, but you have 15 percent sprint to fire time and serpent wrap is 10 percent ads time but it's 10 percent sprint to fire time now both of these believe it or not actually aim in the exact same speed they literally aim in the exact same speed the difference is is that serpent wrap resets the sniper quicker and there's actually proof of that i'll be linking a tweet down below in the description for those of you that don't believe me um the serpent wrap attachment actually resets the scope quicker than it does with airborne elastic i found that out about a two, like two weeks ago and ever since then i've been using serpent wrap obviously you could use airborne if you really want to but i use serpent wrap it's much better even on warzone a lot of people like using serpent wrap as well so you can always just you know swap between them but personally i prefer serpent wrap for the handle that you want to use and of course marathon pad if you don't want to use marathon pad if you want to you know if you're the type to be in your scope and move around you can always use raider pad it's the same thing as marathon you just have higher aim walking movement speed now the only difference you're going to want to really change with all of these is change barrel to combat recon for warzone and then for muzzle you want to have wrap suppressor that's really the two main things you want to have because wrap suppressor on warzone actually has damage uh deals damage compared to cold war and combat recon gives you the best bullet velocity for you know far targets on warzone um serpent wraps the same thing you want to use on warzone and then marathon and like i said you can either use a grip or you can put the high magazine but you don't really need seven round magazine in warzone so you can either rock fast mag or you can just put on the under barrel which a bipod or bruiser grip just so you can run around pretty quick but that is pretty much the class setup that i would use for cold war multiplayer and for warzone for the lw3 tundra i'm closing up on a hundred thousand total kills with this sniper uh, it's my favorite sniper in the game so i highly recommend this class setup if you guys have any more questions or want any setups on any other sniper rifles let me know down in the comment section below i love you guys thank you for all the support and love you guys been showing and i'll see you guys in the next video deuces